Welcome back to Entertainment this morning right here on Morning Rush. I must say, you know, it's, it's such a great uh, thing to be entertained by so many artists, so many things that have been happening in our country. And after taking a five-year break from music, singer, fashion, uh, designer, businesswoman, and lawyer, Varaizo Nyakunika Mwanandimai is back and she is right here in the studio with us. <laughs> Varaito, you look dashing. Thank you. You look amazing yourself. You really <laughs> you do. You dashing. really, really look amazing. <laughs> now look, we, we understand that you took a five year break I did. from music. So, I so did. what was this all about? So I was actually, the last time I released my um, a song was um, when I was in law school. So it was a bit difficult to try and balance that because I was studying out, out, outside of Zim. I was at Rhodes University. So it was really hard to, to balance the music and the law. And then so I came back when I was done with the degree and then I, I was practicing as a lawyer and then um, started a family. And, you know, obviously that comes with a lot. Yeah. So um, before you knew it, it was five years. <laughs> I was like, okay, what happened? So, yeah, I think I'm at a place now where I'm ready to... You know, to get back to what I love, and which is that that's music. Which is music yeah, and your definitely. passion. Yes. And obviously, how many children do you have now? I have two. You have two children. I have now. a one-year-old uh -huh. and a three-year-old. That's very beautiful. It's a lot of work juggling it is. family, husband, it's a lot. work, <laughs> lawyer. And I mean, it's law. A lot. I mean, why, why law? Obviously, your passion. I don't know what your passion is. Is yeah. it music or is it? It was always music. Okay. The law was because, you know, black parents. <laughs> <laughs> my parents were like, is that you're going to be a doctor or a lawyer? So I was like, blood and people that are sick? No. Uh, uh, so I went the law route. And is it? So yeah, I got my degree. Do you degree. enjoy that? Or are you practicing? Or No. no. It's just something you have on your tools. <laughs> I, I do. I actually practiced for three years. Mm -hmm. And then I left to, um, to pursue my... Uh, career in fashion because I have a clothing line so I'm doing that full-time now and then obviously the music so my first love has always been music so mm -hmm. yeah that okay. is why we so, so what kind of music uh, do you do you do what's your genre I'm an R&B artist an R&B artist yes wow. tell us <laughs> so, more about this um so well uh love songs uh, -huh. uh anything that's soul R&B yeah um you probably heard um well, my most popular songs are Ruvarangu, the rendition that I did for Ruvarangu. It's a very r and Absolutely love that song. Thank really. you. Do, yeah. And Doita Manyemwe, which I did with Lena Mapfumo. And then there's a few other songs that I did, but it was all R&B. Yeah. And then now I'm back and I'm, I'll be working with people that are pushing me a bit to like, you know, push my boundaries and work out of my comfort zone. So it's R&B, but it's got a little bit of different different things different happening feel. in there so <laughs> it's going to be very exciting for you guys to yeah. to listen so to the I, new i've music. heard you mentioning uh, some of the artists that you've collaborated and worked with who mm -hmm. else have you worked i've worked with, with i've worked with sunny makalima i've worked with lena mafumo i've worked with russo i've worked with xq i have worked with um Maskiri, I think. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. I've worked with Maskiri. Um, yeah, those are the people I can think of right now. I hope yeah. I haven't forgotten anyone. If I forgot you, please, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. So how, that experience of uh, working with people, mm -hmm. do you, how do you, do you choose who you want to work with or do they call you up and say, hey, you know what, we got a song. How, do, how is that, what is that process like? So usually, because I was, when I was still starting off as a musician, it was like anybody that comes and anybody that's interested, yeah. yay, it was a big <laughs> celebration. Yeah. Um, but I think now I'm at a place where uh, I think I'm selective because I also have a brand that I'm trying to, you know, maintain. And also, like, the, the music that I'm making, it has to, it, it works with some artists and doesn't work with all the artists. But, yeah. I mean, I respect everyone's work, but, you know, it's just that we have a certain direction that will be going sometimes, and so we select. Yeah. But, yeah, I'm happy to work with anybody, really. Yeah. I mean, it's always exciting to... To really go to, to, Exactly, there. to meet people and, yeah. you know, see how different musicians work and yeah. how they they create their art mm -hmm. so um yeah it's 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 a selective process but it's also like you know it's also anything that comes anything that anything comes, that comes i'm happy yeah so i mean i want to i want to go back to your proposal mm -hmm. uh how is that do you want to walk us through what happened how oh you my felt? goodness i know it was like an epic it was well i was i didn't know it was epic <laughs> until i heard that it was it was in the newspaper and yeah. i was like okay well yeah but it was in 20 2018, uh -huh. yeah, and um, it was on my husband. Well, he was he was my boyfriend then, but my, my husband now. Um, it was on his birthday, mm -hmm. and we were like doing a birthday lunch with his friends, and it was just lunch vibes. I don't think anything was gonna happen, but I did suspect a little bit because yeah. he was acting a bit strange. But I was like, nah, I, I don't think he would do it on his birthday. Next thing, I mean, there was he was outside, and it was so funny because we were sitting inside the, the restaurant, and then one of his friends was like. Um, something happened, you need to go outside, like, 
and I was like, what happened? What happened? And I'm freaking out. So I'm like, what is happening? I get outside and he's there. And um, there was a truck that had, um, it, was a, a, it had like a screen and it was him talking and he was saying this amazing speech and all these things, wow. confessing his love. <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, and then he was down on one knee. And I was like, what is this really happening? So yeah, and then um, next thing it was all over social media. So, <laughs> but it was amazing, it was epic. It was probably one of my, my best days Moments ever. Moments in your life. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's absolutely fantastic. And yeah. you know what, um, Barada, I understand that you, uh, you empower women as well. Like just looking at you and just hearing your story, I mean, it's a huge, uh, women empowerment drive. Do you want to tell us more about that aspect of your life? Uh, what you want to tell the younger ladies who are coming up? Some of them, yeah, they love music, mm -hmm. but how important education is as well. Yeah. Do you want to just unpack all of that and your journey? Yeah, I always think that education is always the, the, the foundation for everything, really, um, whatever it is. Yeah. Um, I think now we are in a stage um, where, um, you know, it doesn't have to be law. It doesn't have to be medicine. It can be anything. And I always want to encourage people to do what they love because you never feel like you're working. Yeah. And I feel like you do much better in doing what you love. So yeah, you know, get educated, do whatever it is that you love and get educated on that. You can never have too much knowledge. And um, yeah, I'm all about that. And I'm all about just self-confidence and just being happy with who you are and proud to be who you are and just going for your dreams and just be a go-getter. I'm such a go-getter yeah. and I always try I mean, I, obviously you can fail, but I, I would rather try first. Yeah. And it's all about just having that confidence to wake up and be like, you know what, I want to do this and go for it. Yeah. Um, don't be afraid to fail mm -hmm. because failure is, is going to happen. Yeah. Um, but it's part of, the, part of the process. It's part of growth and it's part of, um, of shaping yourself. So I, I, I'm all about, you know, do what you want to do. And... Um, once upon a time, it was a men's world, yeah. but now it's women. We are taking over all these roles and positions that men used to dominate. Yeah. We are also part of it, you know, and um, yo, the world is your oyster. Yeah, yeah, yeah you definitely. Yeah. And I understand now, obviously, you are a mum. I am. Uh, I don't know if you have boys or... I have a girl and a boy. And a girl and yeah. a boy. And obviously, <laughs> shaping their um, life, yeah. their journey, mm -hmm. how are you doing that for, with your kids? It's your hard. time, time spending is <laughs> hard. Time, yeah. It is so hard. Like nobody told me it was going to be this hard. <laughs> where was, where were you guys? You were supposed to tell me. It's really, really hard. It? But it's, it's such a pleasure. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it. And every day is a learning day. Yeah. Um, I'm still learning my little kids' characters yeah. and personalities. And um, they are such wonderful people to, 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 to learn from. Yeah. And um, but it's hard. It's hard. How I'm balancing it, I just have a schedule, I guess. I just, I know that if it's um, during the week, I'm working, but I always make sure that I'm back home at a certain time so I can spend time with them. Yeah. I do school run for my son in the morning. That's bonding time. Um, and then I pick him up at around four-ish. That's also bonding time. And supper, we have supper together, bonding time. But I spend the day working. So that's how I sort of balance it. And I make sure that the weekends I'm home okay. so we could also just do family time. Okay. Yeah. And obviously now that you, you, know, you announced the queen is back, I'm back. <laughs> yeah. So there's going to be a lot of work that yes. you're going to put into that. And what can we expect wow. from this being back? Fireworks. Wow. Fireworks. Wow. It's unbelievable. I, I don't think I've ever been this creative. Uh -huh. um, I think this is going to be the best project yet. Is it an album? Is It, it uh... is. It's going to be an album, but we're going to start releasing singles okay. from February. Okay. So um, expect fireworks that's all i can say that's all it's, we... it's i'm so excited i just can't wait i'm like can tomorrow be february already because i need <laughs> you guys to listen to what i've been working on yeah but it's been a long time coming because i've been trying to work on music since 2020 so i've been recording here and there yeah but i it does take time it does. it's a process it does it it's really process, does but in the end it's well rewarding exactly and you know so. you did say you getting out of the box there. So I am. Like, what? It's, we, it's crazy. You guys are going to hear what you don't expect. But, <laughs> but it's going to be fireworks. Uh -huh. I promise you that. Oh, no, yeah. That's absolutely yeah. fantastic. And obviously, in terms of the support structure, your support system, how is that looking? My husband mm -hmm. is so supportive. Yeah. It was difficult at first um, because you know men <laughs> I know but um, he's so supportive like yeah. I told him I was coming for this interview he was so supportive he's doing the school run now and all of that my parents yeah. they are such 
pillars yeah. and um, they are my mom is my number one fan wow. she listens to everything that I do I could do I could make crappy music yeah. and she, but she will, will listen she to will it. listen to it I and dance and vibe it's that. crazy my dad was always asking me what's going on with the music and so supportive my brothers so so supportive to national guy they're so supportive and um, I have go I have just a, 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 I just have a wonderful a support, support structure system. it's just yeah. unbelievable yeah. so yeah and it's, if, if, stop, if it wasn't for them I wouldn't be here because um, they really pushed me even yeah. when I was like I don't want to do this because yeah. I mean it's scary you know it this I've been away for a while and it's just you have your fears because you're like okay what's gonna happen yeah. how are people gonna receive this yeah. music and you use everyone naturally I'm afraid to fail but yeah. you know they were pushing you me just gotta go out there just, and do it exactly so here we are <laughs> that is absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Marta. You have such an amazing story. And, Thank you. You know, I wish you all the best Thank in, you. in your journey, being a lawyer, being a musician, <laughs> being you. everything Thank that you God so, intended so much. you to be. Yeah. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen, Varaizo, telling us that she is back with a bang and it's going to be fireworks, you know, for <laughs> the dancing. You know, hey, you know, we, we're going to be really uh, excited to hear her new album coming up. But we, that's what we've had for entertainment this morning. Thank <music> you.